I rock rough and stuff with my Afro puff. I rock rough and stuff with my Afro puff. Now I'm hitting them scenes like hard you get. Ain't no doubt about it, I'm the undisputed. If you're like me, you were raised in the 90s. And this move was one of the most popular moves in video game culture. Matter of fact, it was the most popular move in pop culture at one point. And most likely, you used it against you and your cousins play fighting. Ask Sandstorm. He'll tell you, I used to try to use that all the time. But it's the equivalent to the Kamehameha wave. It's the, I'm not even finna attempt to say it, because most likely, back in the day, you probably messed up the name too. But today, we're going to take a look at Street Fighter VI. Let's get it. Storm. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Vito Variants. Thank you, thank you so much guys for uh, last week's support on my Vitoverse video. I truly appreciate that. Now I kind of have a general idea, uh, you know, what to kind of do to get you guys engaged and uh, just make a community over here with me. So uh, stay tuned for more of that. But um, for the last two weeks, I haven't had a veto variant. So please uh, forgive me for that. But thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for sticking in with me. Um, I use that as a moment of silence. I kind of don't want to get into that. Um, it's a very hurtful situation for me right now, but we're not going to get into that. We're going to actually try to uplift our spirits today and uh, talk about Street Fighter VI. But before we get into that Street Fighter VI gameplay trailer, I actually want to kind of uh, share with you guys something I've been seeing on the internet lately. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I just kind of want to share to you guys uh, my very first controller. Now, if you've seen this uh, post right here, it's something that's interesting. I think um, this is always a good conversation point to start in the gaming community when you're trying to meet people and all this other stuff, and meet new people and make new friends. Um, you know, what, what was your first game controller? You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you three situations. I'm going to give you my first game controller in plural. And then I'm going to give you um, the game controllers I had in order that I got them. And then I'm gonna give you my opinion of which one I feel is the best one of all time. First, I'd like to apologize for the sound quality. If it's distracting to you, I'm so sorry. Uh, I am doing this on the fly again. I'm doing it in my car, so bear with me. So right off the bat, number two. I said I was raised in the 90s. It's a no-brainer. Number two is my very first game controller. Now, what I wanna say is my first game controller where I was actually conscious of me playing games and actually becoming a gamer, I would say number three. So that's why I said, uh, I wanna give you my first game controllers in plural. You know what I'm saying? It was those two. Um, I don't remember roughly like the distance in between me getting both of those systems, but I, these are my game, my first game controllers. My next is number seven. Now I know a lot of you Nintendo fans are gonna say, oh man, you didn't have a 64? No, I did not. I had the 64 at the time that it dropped. I actually got the 64 a lot later in life, but I did not have that at the time that it dropped. What I did was I had my PlayStation, number seven, and I would go over to Sandstorm's house and play his Nintendo 64. So no, I did not have a 64 right off the hand. I came uh, down to Georgia and I inherited my father's um, 64. And of course that was a lot later. That was like in my teens. So uh, yeah, I did not own a 64, but I did play 64 games. So don't, don't come for me, Nintendo fans. Don't come for me. I still played that controller. Now my next controller is number 10. Now I know a lot of y'all going to say, how did you skip the PlayStation 2? Why, why, why don't you have number nine? Well, I didn't skip number nine. I just end up getting number 10 first. Sandstorm sold me so much on the system that I literally aimed for that one first and then later on i got my playstation 2 so i had both of those but don't 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 come for me playstation fans <laughs> this is just the order I, I i'm getting my stuff in you know what i'm saying i got my stuff in i still had these systems i still played with these controllers so don't come for me my next controller was number 12 and yes xbox fans you're damn right i skipped number 11 i was not an xbox fan at the time i was only an xbox 360 fan when 
when I start seeing what the 360 can do. So yes, 360 sold me into the Xbox Microsoft era. But before then, I was not convinced. I don't care if you give me all the Halos and Ninja Garden or whatever, whatever those games were. I, no, I don't. I didn't care. You know what I mean? They weren't beating out PlayStation games at the time to me. So uh, save it. Anyway, so 12. I skipped 13. Yes, PlayStation fans, I skipped 13. Yes, I did never, I never had a PlayStation 3. There was no need. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. What? Why? Why, why, why would I need it when I had the Xbox? Xbox was everything. Xbox was everything. Now, I do admit PlayStation still had exclusives that I could not play. But, hey, Xbox, were every, Xbox 360 was everything at the time. So, um, yeah, I skipped that. Had the Wii. That was my family's, you know, game system. So, you know, I, I played it the most. So, you know, I got to put that on there. The Wii U. Now, that's a long story. I did not have that first, but I had the PlayStation 4 first. And I had the Xbox One first. So I got those systems and then later on got the Wii U. Then after the Wii U, literally six months after me getting that, Switch came out. So I traded in my Wii U for a Switch. So uh, yeah, that's how that happened. And to this day, I still have my Switch. Well, no, I don't have the same Switch. I actually upgraded to the uh, OLED. I just needed a better better screen, better battery life. I don't even know if it has better battery life, but it's working out pretty good for me right now. But I must say, I do have the Xbox Series S and I do have the PlayStation 5. So as of right now, I have the Switch, the Xbox Series S and PlayStation 5. So these are my controllers that I'm most likely going to be playing Street Fighter 6 with. Now, to give you my opinion on the greatest controller of all time. Number 10, hands down, argue with your mom. They brought us wireless controllers. Um, now, some people would say that uh, Atari had the first wireless controllers. Yes, they had the first wireless controllers, but who perfected it in our current uh, way of playing games and stuff like that? Nintendo, Nintendo did. So yes, yes, number 10. Number 10 is the greatest of all time. Hands down, my opinion, argue with your mom. All right, guys, let's get into this trailer. Nice shawl, a developing nation of little significance, tucked away in a remote corner of Asia. It's rather fascinating. Right off bat, like, they got you, like, running around in, like, a... I don't want to say an open world, but you got like a little hub or something like that. Uh, a lot of fighting fighting games are starting to do that now. So, you know, I, I like that idea. That's definitely dope. That expands um, just the 2D fighting that we normally get. Now we get to kind of, you know, like build up a little, little community, a little storyline. So I, I like that. I like that. In game fight! Yo, <laughs> hey, how he, <laughs> how he started off the fight is probably something like I'll do. I'll sit up here and jump in the air and, yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> look at that, look at that, <laughs> yo, he got J's on, I like how he just stopped in the middle of me laughing just to see if he had some J's on. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I ain't gonna lie, these combos are insane. <laughs> So there you have it, you guys. We got another Street Fighter on our hands, man. So it looks pretty dope. It looks promising. Now, originally I was going to um, do a, a reaction to the gameplay uh, showcase they had the other day, but that was a bit extensive. That was like 20 something odd minutes long. So I didn't want to, you know, keep you guys today. So I just decided to do uh, that trailer with some gameplay in it, just showing us that customization and uh, your character build or whatever like that. So uh, I know that trailer actually just came, uh, that trailer came out like some months ago. So, I mean, it just fits right for this video. So um, I'm gonna put the link down in the comment section to uh, Winging It Podcast. They actually, did re they did a live reaction to um the showcase so uh if you haven't already uh go over to the winging it podcast i got the link in the description those are my family those are my friends over there just uh give them a little support a little shout out subscribe to them and uh check out their live reaction on street fighter 6 and um write down in the comment section you know are you excited for it what you expecting out of it and um also, what was your very first game controller and what's your favorite? Don't give me a whole list of all the ones you had because that can get extensive, but just let me know what was your favorite and, um, you know, which was your first. So anyway, uh, until tomorrow, guys, y'all have a safe one. I'll see you tomorrow at the Vitoverse. Peace.